Hello everyone. It is week 13 of my pregnancy. I'm sorry that like in every video I like crap, but me being pregnant, it doesn't make me want to doll up like everybody else does and put makeup or anything on. At least my hair's combed. Um and then because I just haven't felt pretty, like my face, um, in my book from what to expect when you're expecting, like it says your face starts getting like these dark blotches, which it has like on my nose and everything, and I just feel ugly right now. I'm not feeling the pregnancy glow, so excuse me that I don't doll up or get dressed. I'm in my pajamas. Um, but it is week 13. Like I said, I am 13 weeks and three days pregnant today with baby number two. Um, I have an appointment on Monday, which will be August 13th, 2012. I will be one day shy of <clears throat> 14 weeks pregnant. Um, there's nothing really new to report. I'm sorry, you guys, because I still have not got the tape measure to do belly measurements. So at the end of this video, I will only be showing the belly. Whenever I get that tape measure, <clears throat> tape measure, excuse me, I will do start doing belly measurements. The store I went to, like I said in my last video, um, I was going to go to the store and get a tape measure, but I ended up going there and they didn't have it, so and I didn't feel like ripping and running to look for one, so, sorry. Um, my stomach has got stretch marks already, um, so I used this when I was pregnant with my daughter. It is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Massage Cream for Stretch Marks for Tummy, Hips, and Thighs, Bust, and... <clears throat> This one, I guess, like, targets pregnancy because you can see the pregnant mommy on the box. But that is what I use, so if anybody wants to know, it is Palmer's Cocoa Butter. And my doctor suggested that I take a little extra folic acid. Um, my prenatal vitamins that I take is, like, Target brand. <clears throat> and it already has 800 mcgs of, of folic acid, but um, my doctor wanted me to add an extra on that, so... This is what I take. I take this. It's called Spring Valley, a natural folic acid, and these have uh, 400 mcg. So I, to me, that's a little bit higher. Uh, but the doctor says that uh, the extra folic acid won't do any harm. Like if your body is getting too much, or like you know, because she didn't know how many, how much folic acid was in my prenatal vitamins. But that's like a thousand two hundred <coughs> milligrams of folic acid. So um, folic acid does not do any damage um, to the baby. You cannot have too much folic acid, and whatever is not needed just gets filtered out. So <clears throat> that is a good thing to know because to me that's a lot of folic acid. Um, I have been eating healthy, although when I do have cravings, I do not ignore them. Uh, I've eaten fruits and vegetables. Like for some reason, I love canned spinach. It's like the Del Monte brand. And as I said in a, a couple videos back, I get wick for my daughter and then they added me for my pregnancy. Excuse me. So, I get more fruits and vegetables for my daughter and then me now I'm pregnant combined. So, I cannot get enough of those Del Monte. Like the, it's like the single serving. Like they're the small cans of spinach and I love it. I will eat that by itself. No butter, no sugar, no pepper, no nothing. Um, also, I have the craving for hot dogs. So I went out, and I, my, the only brand of hot dogs I like, like some people buy the the cheap pack. I love uh, Oscar Mayer's hot dogs for some reason. I tasted them one time and have been stuck on them, so that's the only brand of hot dogs I will buy. Uh, also, I got things like Oreo cookies, granola bars. Uh, when I went to the grocery store, they ended up having some cherries in the fruits uh, section of the produce so um I ended up getting some some fruits um I mean some cherries because um I guess it's like the seasonal thing and they were out normally I get stuff like bananas I grab bananas for my daughter but and I eat them too because of potassium I got some bananas and then I seen the cherries and then I got um, pineapples and stuff like that um so I love yogurt I've loved yogurt before I was pregnant but even more so I'm pregnant and I just I love yogurt I got yogurt. Um, I got, also got the fruit cups, the Dole fruit cups, but <clears throat> I only got the uh, mandarin orange kind because those are me and my daughter's favorite. Uh, 
So that's like the healthy stuff. I got a lot of fruits and vegetables. And then like the junk food, I got Oreo cookies, Pringles. I love Pringles. Some people might say ill, but I only really, really like the original flavor. <clears throat> um, and earlier I got the, the craving to put some hot sauce on the Pringles. And before I did that, I had got opened up like the tiny bag of hot shit. I mean the tiny bag of Cheetos and poured hot sauce in the bag. I normally put hot sauce on my popcorn, but I didn't get popcorn when I went to the store because I wasn't thinking. Or I ended up putting back or something. But um, yeah. I love hot sauce on a lot of stuff. Um, so the other day I ended up making spaghetti because I had craved that. And it's like I ate it the first night. Oh, excuse me. The first night I made it. And then I haven't really had the taste for it. So it's just sitting there in the Tupperwares. Um, I gave some to my daughter last night. I'll probably have some for dinner tonight. Um, also, I spoke about the eggnog ice cream. I'm still craving that. Which I am going to get as soon as December hits. Because the Basker Robin said it's a seasonal thing. Uh, I still haven't got the hot wings I wanted. I want Wingstop hot wings so bad. I also, when I was like five weeks pregnant, <coughs> I craved steak. So I ended up going to Fridays. And I like the steak and shrimp and uh, mashed potato and broccoli. I need to head out to Fridays because me and Bump, number two, are craving steak again. Um... What else? I don't know. They say like uh, around this time, like your fundus or your uterus starts to lift out of your uh, your pelvic cavity. But I don't really know where you feel because I feel somewhat it's hard down at the bottom right here. But then like in some spots, it's like soft. So I don't know. But right now I just ate. So it all kind of feels hard to me. <laughs> uh, I will be finding out what I'm having, like I said in my last video, on September 18th. So I'm super excited because everything in me, like I said before, is telling me it's a boy. I don't know why I'm out of breath already. I guess it's because I'm already a hefty girl or like a thick girl. And yeah, I'm putting on weight. So I don't know how much I weigh now, but at my last appointment, I think I was like 194. So, um, no symptoms really. Like I said, I had a headache for a brief minute. I had a headache on a couple days ago and didn't want to eat dinner because of the headache. It lingered for a minute, being that we can only take time all being pregnant, and I didn't. I wasn't really happy about that because it was like a really bad migraine on one side and it was just pounding. I got up, I moved, went back to the bathroom, and it pounded worse. Um, it's hot, so I try to stay dehydrated, drinking water and Powerade. I know they say don't drink like <laughs> Gatorade and stuff, but. <laughs> I drink it every once in a while because I crave it. Like, there's two main flavors that I crave. It's the green one. It's like a uh, melon burst or something. And then it's like the white kind, which is a wild cherry or mountain cherry. Something like that. And those two flavors I love. Uh, I also drink the blue one from time to time. Um, like I said, there's no really no symptoms. Um, I will show you guys all the, the maternity clothes I have bought once I get the bottoms because like I said in my last video, I did not get bottoms because the place I went to did not have them. So I'm either going to go to the swamp meet or to motherhood and get like some leggings or something. You know, just something because my midriff is starting to be a little tight. Um, I will show you guys the belly and then I will be done because there's really nothing to report. But I will show you guys all the clothes, the maternity wear that I'm going to be wearing through the course of my pregnancy once I get the bottoms. Um, so I'm sorry I kinda rambled on in the beginning. Just made the video a little longer. I rambled on about my cravings and everything. But um here we go. Oh Lord. It's, this weather is like super crazy. Pregnancy and heat does not mix. Okay. So I'm not going to lift my shirt all the way because on my sides, you know, I have my fat rolls or whatever, so. But, yes. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm hoping so. Here is belly. Prego belly. Week 13 from the front. Move, baby. Here is Prego belly. Week 13 from the side. I don't know if you guys can see. So. There. Cradle belly week 13 from this side. 
And Prego Belly, week 13 from this side. I don't know if you guys could see it in my last video, but how I said I'm starting to get the the line. And as you can see, I have stretch marks. So I know as my pregnancy progresses, they are going to get more defined. Um, that is why I'm using the cocoa butter. I've read that cocoa butter does not really alleviate the stretch marks, just so the itching that you have. Um, so I'm not really worried about that. But yes, I have them already. So that is that. And I will see you guys for week 14. Thank you. Bye.